Vermont is expecting some of the busiest few weeks for travel visits of the entire year, and that's because, of course, fall foliage season is now underway. It's a little early, but as Jack Thurston reports, travelers are already coming and liking what they're seeing. When Vermont's hillsides catch the sun just right this time of year, they really sparkle with the reds and yellows of fall, a spectacle that draws travelers like Alan and Terry Stevens from the panhandle of Florida. The trees where we live are palm trees, and up here, of course, you see the beautiful red maples, which are gorgeous gorgeous that you don't see where we live at all. Other parts of the country get colorful foliage too, the Rockies for example, but experts say Vermont's diversity of tree species, the weather and soil conditions here, and our density of deciduous trees, the ones that lose their leaves, create an intense and varied fall tapestry that's hard to match elsewhere in the U.S. And those who come to see it mean a business boost for Jim Rose. As soon as foliage picks up, it pretty much doubles, I would say. He rents e-bikes with pedal assist right on the Lamoille Valley Rail Trail in Johnson, often pointing his customers to towns along the trail where they can find shops, breweries, and restaurants. Whether you're a local or a tourist, you know, um, it's a really unique view of Vermont. There's high leisure travel demand right now. Amy Spear focuses on tourism issues for the Vermont Chamber of Commerce. The state generally expects a million travelers and $300 million in consumer spending during the month or so that foliage season lasts, but this year could be bigger, with gas prices coming down and pent-up travel demand from the pandemic. A lot of industry folks that we've spoken to have said that they're really anticipating a potentially record-breaking season. As for our travelers from Florida, they're also checking out New Hampshire and Maine before circling back to Vermont in a week. They're eager to see how the trees change in that time frame. We can see trees down home, but they're not as pretty as they are. They're bright up here. In Stowe, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.